Taught at Coven, born the 5th of September, 1939 in Montgomery, Alabama. During this time, black and white people were kept apart. In 55, Coven rode a segregated bus. After school, bus driver told her to give up her seat to a white passenger. She refused. It's my constitutional right to sit here. As much as that lady, I paid my fare. Coven later stated, I felt like Sojourner Truth and Harriet Tubman were pushing me down. After her refusal to give up her seat, she was arrested for violating the city's segregation laws with other crimes. She was charged for several hours, sat in jail behind bars. The minister at her church later bailed her out. That night at her house, there were no lights out. Her family stayed awake in fear because Coven spoke out. Angry white citizens might retaliate now. Cut a go from the original Rosa Parks Even more before her, but this is where it starts A young lady inspired by history Harriet and Truth had a due to her seat yeah. Plotted Coven, original Rosa Parks At just 15, show encouraging heart Refused to move, sitting firm for her rights Often overshadowed, bring a story to life The NAACP considered Coven's case To challenge segregation, but decided against Using her to litigate because of her age An amateur activist, unfit for the stage Others also suggest Coven didn't represent The image of the black civil rights movement Nine months later, Rosa Parks arrested at 42, a seasoned activist selected by the movement to be the face of it, planned out the actions, kept it strategic. Soon followed the Montgomery bus boycott in May of 56, Coven testified in court, along with Aurelia Brown and Mary Louise Smith and Susie McDonald called to be witnesses. Each of them had been arrested later in June, the Supreme Court banned segregation. Yeah. Claudette Coven, original Rosa Parks, even more before her, but this is where it starts. A young lady inspired by history, Harriet and Truth had a due to her seat. Yeah. Claudette Coven, original Rosa Parks, at just 15, showing courage and heart, refused to move, sitting firm for her rights, often overshadowed, bring a story to light.